the AFRTS News Center in Washington. This is the Two Minute Report. I'm Jim Langdon. On this edition, anthrax. Even a cute little guy like this could carry the deadly biological agent. That's why specialist Amber Stanley and the other people who handle animals at the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases have had anthrax vaccination shots. Specialist Stanley has worked at the Institute for more than two years. She took her first anthrax shot long before the vaccine became mandatory for all service members. I didn't mind it considering the biocontainment level we were in. Um, I figured at least it would give me a fighting chance if something had happened. Specialist Stanley says everyone she works with at the Institute has had anthrax vaccination shots. I haven't met anyone who's had any problems, any health problems, any health risks after taking the shots. Specialist Stanley has received six anthrax shots so far. John Condig probably can't recall when he took his sixth anthrax shot. He's been taking the vaccine here at the Institute for more than 30 years. I trust it completely. I have no questions about its safety whatsoever. But he says it's hard to talk about the vaccine safety to service members who have their minds set against the shots. I can understand their feeling, <clears throat> but, I, but I, my personal feeling is that I think they should take the shots as a safety precaution. And I don't believe there's anything, there's any danger involved in taking the shots. A tender arm is the only adverse reaction Mr. Kundig has ever had to anthrax shots. He still runs into people he worked with 30 years ago and says none of them have complained of side effects from the anthrax shots they took. That is the Two Minute Report from Washington. I'm Jim Langdon. On Two Minute Plus, you can learn more about the anthrax vaccination program on DefenseLink, the Pentagon's official website. You'll find the anthrax vaccination program under Sites of Interest.